Here we are going to show you how a six part DWC system works. The system is modular and is made up of a brain, a tank and a number of pot modules. Here you have the six part deep water culture system. We manufacture this system in six, twelve, eighteen and twenty four pot sizes which suits most situations. The six pot system uses a hundred litre water tank which has a max jet thousand pump in and an anti siphon valve stopping any water free running into the control unit. The tank is piped to a control unit which is then piped up to the pots. The control unit has a 24 hour segmental grassland timer connected to the unit which operates the pumps in both the tank and the control unit. When the segments are pushed out this means the unit is in the fill position. Here we show the timer set to 8 o'clock. When 8 o'clock is reached it will turn the pump on in the tank and fill the control unit. As water runs from the tank into the control unit, it slowly fills, which in turn forces the water down the pipework and into the pots. Here you see the water filling the pots. As the control unit fills, the top float valve lifts and stops the pump in the tank. This level, which is set 25mm below the mesh pot, will be kept static until the unit drains. The oxygen stones have air pumped to them via a large air pump, which super oxygenates the water and root zone giving massive root growth. As the air breaks the water, small droplets of water fill the void around the root zone, giving a massive air to moisture ratio. As the roots uptake the nutrient solution, the water level will drop, causing the float valve to drop, which will turn on the fill pump and refill the pots to their set level. This action will continue until the grassland timer switches off, which will turn the pump on in the control unit, draining the system and sending all the nutrient solution back to the tank. When in the tank, the small amount of nutrient solution in each pot will be mixed with any remaining solution in the tank. Here you can adjust the EC and pH levels and top up with any fresh water needed in the tank. When the control unit switches back on, the unit will fill again and the process starts all over.